beautiful morning. Well, welcome back everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video where we set the hunting blind directly into the back of the mule. That was a really, really fun project to do. It was simple to do and a better way to utilize the side-by-side -side that we have purchased to get more out of it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I thought it was a lot of fun. And as far as outdoor gear goes, if you guys are enjoying these videos, leave it in the comments. Um, I, can, I can make a ton of these, these types of videos. I have as much outdoor gear as I do gray hairs. I'm just saying we have spent a lot of time outdoors. And I have to give a shout out to my youngest son. He just completed a race on the Missouri River starting from Kansas City, Missouri to St. Louis, Missouri. A 340 mile trip on a river that is in places a mile, mile and a half wide. This is a large body of water. I believe it to be the second largest river in the United States. Uh, but anyway, so 340 miles in a canoe uh, <clears throat> along with current. Uh, he was passing barges and he done real well. So uh, out of 450 people in the race, they, his team, him and another young man, uh, was 78th. That's not bad. I think it took him three and a half days and that was steady pedaling. So I got to say, son, you checked that one off your bucket list, right? We've spent a lot of lot of nights sitting on the river catfishing and discussing a float trip like that, and now he's done it. So I'm proud of you, bub. Now, today's video, what we are going to do, we've already hauled the mule to whatever location we're going to, and now I'm going to utilize the trailer that has uh, brought the mule to site for us. And I'm getting ready to show you something else that I think it's a really great idea. So I hope you enjoy the video. And we are going to start right here, and I'm going to trim this limb off. And again, outdoor gear is something that I always keep. It's always nice to stay prepared for anything that may happen. And this is just, this goes along with all the videos that you've seen here on our property. Um, making different things, and, and again, just utilizing what we have. Now this is a Gerber machete, and it also has a crosscut saw on the back of it. A definite piece of camping gear that you would want to have. We're going to take this limb down first and get it out of our way. And these crosscut saws on these things work really well. Just make a couple cuts on it. Once you get set up, you can find yourself uh, doing a lot of little projects that keep you occupied, and it's just a lot of fun to do with no exception to this, making a really nice camp for yourself. If you have children, they absolutely love this type of living. You can bring them out and get them started. And you're teaching them something that can last them a lifetime. Put this guy back a little bit and make sure I don't knock you guys down. There we go. Now your trailer's going to vary from mine. But you're going to catch the concept here real quick. We already have a really nice floor, and this is where I'm going to set my tent up at. Now, it has been a while. This is one of the smaller tents that we own. It's been a while since I've had this guy out of the bag. Get our rain fly set back here. It's simply another way to utilize the trailer and after I get my camp set up again I'm going to be able to take the trailer off the back of the mule and I will still be mobile with the machine yeah we still have some river sand on this guy get this unfolded now these pop-up tents are durable and you can select or probably already have one that you choose to use. All right. Just a really cool idea to be able to use this as the base. Get this guy out of the bag. To 
be able to use this as a camp, still be able to use the mule to roll around and do, go do exploring to wherever we need to. If you're deer hunting or something like that, your buddies will love this because you're going to give them a really nice place to come back and be able to catch a little bit of rest. This guy laid down. I want to get as many of these outside videos done for us as I can. It won't be long we're going to be dealing with cold weather again, which is also a fine time to be out camping. And if you can keep if you have kids that you're doing this with, if you can keep them occupied on something like this, they love it. They just absolutely love it. Keeping them up off the ground with this trailer, that's going to be perfect. This is center. Find it. Now if you're going to do a project like this, this is something that is better experimented at home. That way when you get out to the, the site that you're going to camp at, you will have done this to know exactly what you need. Should there be any repairs or anything like that that you need to do? This guy down. All right. Now everything's pretty well centered up. Set this stuff back in the mule. I'm not exactly sure how I want to place this on the trailer yet. We're going to go ahead and remove our ramps. I have another idea for these. And again, your trailer's not going to be exactly like mine. But this trailer will lend itself to several different applications here. Get this guy out. That's going to give us access to the back. These pins up. Now I also recently done a video on putting these extra tie downs in the trailer and honestly this is some of the lines of what I was thinking about. These guys out of here. But there will be more than enough places to tie down a tent. Now for you guys that's got the flatbed trailers this would really work great for you. And then from this one corner, you'll be able to just grab this guy and put it right up there. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Now my door is right here where I removed this ramp at. Get this guy folded out a little bit. Square it on that trailer. Boy, I'll tell you what. You get this set up at your deer camp, and I guarantee you you'll have a lot of visitors through the evening. And they're going to love that. Now that gives us access back here to the back of the trailer. And I have several ideas for that as well. Let me bring you around to show you the front of the camp, or the front of the tent. Before we put the rain fly on. Now that's set in there and we didn't lose almost any floor space of the tent.
thing opened up. More than enough room for an air mattress inside. And again, I don't have the rain fly out yet. But comes up and lets me in. And you'll sleep a lot more comfortable on a nice flat surface like this. We are up off the ground. Uh, exiting is going to be pretty simple. Get over here and straight out like that. And again, a nice air mattress, your sleeping bag. Now this particular trailer, the axle sets far enough back to where the trailer is not centered up, okay? But if you have uh, your axle move forward and you're having trouble with stability, you can actually put yourself a couple of blocks of firewood underneath this on each corner of your trailer and then that way you can stabilize uh, the trailer from trying to tilt back and forth on you. Now the nice thing about this is I have the tongue jack up here in the front of the trailer that's going to help me level up uh, a little bit closer to level. That's going to work great guys. You would definitely want to chalk your wheels. I'm going to make sure my wheel on the jack here stays sideways. Put a little weight on it. More than perfect. And that's got us pretty close to the level it looks like. Alright, that part of it's done. I had an idea for these ramps. Got me a stick of firewood. Now that's going to work perfect for a bench seat. Or I'll have a place to put my shoes when I come up to camp. Now that worked really good. Put a little campfire over here. All right, we can check that off the list and I can do the same on the back of the trailer with the other ramp or even put it out here in the front if I chose to. That's worked real good. I like multi-purpose. Now since we are this close to the pond, I've also brought down the fishing chair. Get that guy out. Now again, the more comfortable you can make yourself, the more you're going to enjoy your trip. Now there's, that's a profound statement because if you're out here and you're miserable, chances are as soon as you get this stuff set up, you're going to be ready to go home. But if you can get out here and get comfortable, and truly enjoy your time. Again, you've already purchased this equipment, more than likely. So we're set, right? You're going to see a few more videos of this set up. And I am going to further improve our camp. And then hopefully, I make no promises, but hopefully I am going to get my grandkids down here and spend the night fishing in the pond. Let them sit around a campfire and enjoy this. I want to thank you for watching. If you guys are enjoying these types of videos, the outdoor gear and things like that, uh, leave it in the comments for me. We can do we can do a lot of videos for you, all right? And this is something I've always enjoyed. We've, we've worked hard all week. Let's enjoy the weekend. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.